Hi everyone, I've got some new yarn. My name's Sam from Mantha's Makes and I am so excited. The postman's just come. He's given me a lovely packet of squishiness and I thought I would share it with you. Now, I haven't had um, any of these yarns before. I was lucky enough to have a gift voucher for Christmas given to me by Mike, my boyfriend. And I thought I would treat myself to some um, lovely new uh, bits and pieces. And again, it was for Wool Warehouse. He knows I normally buy my yarn there, um, but I do know that you guys can um, order from there yourselves. Um, and I did manage to get a couple of uh, bargains in the clearance section. So I've ripped open the top of the bag, but I haven't peeked. I have taken out the invoice that came with it because I thought I would spend a minute just seeing if I could convert what I paid in um, pounds and pence into both US dollars and Canadian dollars for you. So you get a more uh, realistic um, idea on cost. Um, so would you like to have a look? So I'm gonna get the bag, I'm so excited. Right, let's go for it. Sorry for the crinkling. So, look at all of this. Love the organza bags that they come in. I find them very useful and I reuse them. So, let's see if I can open the bag. It's quite tight today. Right, here we go. So, some of this you might, might actually um, know a little bit about. Um, I was very lucky enough to find some of the American yarns um, and, and in Canada, you can find them as well, that I have never had before. I may have paid a little bit over the odds for them, um, but rather than pay for a uh, direct from America and have them shipped, um, I managed to get them at Wool Warehouse and I just thought for convenience I'd pay that little bit more. But I'm finally, finally going to experience a little bit of what you guys have over there. And hopefully I can show you a couple of things that we've got that maybe you're interested in. Okay, so let's just dig in the bag and see what I've got. So, ooh, this is the first one. This is Dreamcatcher by Stylecraft. And actually on the picture, I thought it was more greys and pinks. But looking at it, it's more browns and pinks, but that's fine because it just reminds me of a chocolate covered strawberry. And there is a little hint of white there as well. Um, you might know that I was working on the Bag -a Day uh, drop stitch scarf as part of the cowl with Twisted Fibre Friends. And although I absolutely love it, and I'll show you in another video um, it in its completed state, I felt that the yarn was too busy and I wanted a self-striping yarn. So I was looking at these and these were actually on um, in the clearance section. So I thought while they were, you know, half price, I would pick a couple up and maybe if I want to do a similar project, I have got self-striping yarn. So let's read a little bit about this one. So it's 150 grams made in Turkey. The shade number is 3955 and I think it's called Arapaho, Arapaho, um, that's spelled A-R-A-P-A-H-O. It's 90% premium acrylic, 10% wool. It's a DK weight, which is a light number three. Um, there are approximately 435 meters or 476 yards. Um, it's m m machine washable, 30 degrees, cool tumble dry, cool iron. You can dry clean it. Um, and this is where I always go wrong with the hook sizes and needle sizes. In fact, this one doesn't have a hook size on it. It does have needles and it says four millimeter, but above the four millimeter, it says eight UK or US six. So I hope that means something to you knitters out there because I'm not a knitter. Um, so yeah, DK3, let's just see if I would agree with that. It's quite a thin three, but yeah, I would say that one's a three. It is nice and soft. I would wear it against my skin without anything underneath. And look at all those gorgeous pinks and browns. 
my lighting isn't particularly great today. It is near to colour. It's pretty good. I don't think it's that bad. But that's that one. Very nice. And you can see a slight fuzzy halo, which would be the wool in the back here. And I just think that is quite a nice size, 476 yards. And I actually got two of these. So these actually cost me on sale £3.99. Um, they would normally be more than that. So I thought, good deal, I'll grab it. Um, I did do a little bit of research, like I said, and according to my phone, and again, correct me if I'm wrong down below, but my phone said that US dollars, these would be 5.39 each, and Canadian dollars, these would be 6.83 each. So I don't know if that's a good deal or not for the yardage for you guys, but for me at £3.99, I would buy it all day long. So that's this colour, and I've got two of those. Let's see if I can find the other one. Yep. Two of those and again it's got a middle pool which is quite nice they don't actually match the centers so if i was going to color control i'd have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery but that's fine i'm happy to do that so that's those two and i actually got another color of these so let's see if i can find it okay so then i have got the stylecraft dream catcher again but this time Oh, now that's pretty. That's very pretty. I am very pleased with this one. This is more my style. Reminds me of autumn or fall. Um, so again, it's the same specs. I'll just quickly run you through them again. So 150 gram ball, 90% acrylic, premium acrylic, 10% wall, DK weight, approximately 435 meters or 476 yards. Um, again, machine washable, cool tumble dry, cool iron, you can dry clean and the same size for the knitting needles, which is HUK US 6 or 4 millimeter. And this colorway is 3952 in the color Apache. Again, nice center pull. And I'll just grab the other one. There we go. Again, I would have to do some colour control because they're not the same centres. But again, that's absolutely fine. If you like a project enough, you're willing to work hard to achieve it. So I'm very super happy with these. And again, just to recap on the price, so they're three ninety nine to me on sale. That's five dollars thirty nine for US and six eighty three for you guys in Canada. And if you can get them at a really good price, I would highly recommend because like I said, they are super soft and squashy. Not the very, very softest I felt, but still really sumptuous, really soft enough to wear without anything underneath, in my opinion. So that's those two. Oh. Okay, let's see what else I've got in my goodie bag. Let's have a look. Okay, so this one is called show you <gasps> rainbow i love rainbow look how beautiful that is and it's got a slight tweedy effect to it as well and i don't really have a lot of a lot of these tweedy effect yarns but as you can see it's like a dark purple to a magenta -y pink to a ready purple to almost like a burnt orange and then a mustard beautiful beautiful green and a light blue and a dark blue oh i love this one i'm excited to use this one so this is king cole curiosity and it's again it's a dk weight so a light three uh the shade is 2895 merlin um it's 150 gram ball it's made in Turkey. It's 100% premium acrylic, approximately 524 yards or 480 meters. You can wash, don't iron, cool tumble dry. Knitting needles are four millimeter, which is a US six. And again, no crochet hook on this one, but I'm sure you can crochet with it. And this again is lovely and soft. I would have no trouble with it on my skin. Um, 
Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. I am super, super pleased with this one. This is extra pretty, in my opinion. I might have to go back and buy some more. So looking at my notes, the King Cole Curiosity Merlin. I paid £4.99. Um, again, I got two of these. Um, in US... These are $6.74 and in Canada, they'll be $8.54. Again, I don't know if this is a good deal for you guys, but for me, I would pay $4.99 any day for this absolutely gorgeous yarn. I think I chose really well on this one. I am super happy. So yeah, again, I got two of these. So let's see if I can find the other one. Don't have any projects in mind yet, but that's half the fun because they can stay there staring at you and you can go hunting for patterns and find the perfect thing to make with these. Again, centres don't match, would have to do some colour control, but I really do love, love, love this one. Super, super happy. Okay, so that's the King Cole Curiosity DK. Okay, what else do I have? What else do I have? Now, these you will be familiar with. I have never had them in my life. I've always wanted them. I've been super jealous of you guys that can just go to Walmart or um, your big box stalls and just pick them up. Um, but again, I have to order from limited places and I don't really want to pay, pay the shipping straight from America. So again, I may have paid over the odds for these, but I don't care because I'm happy. I finally own them and I'm super excited. And it is Mandala Lion Brand. Absolutely gorgeous. And I had a real tough time picking which colour I wanted. They're all super beautiful. Again, no project in mind. But, oh, just gorgeous. So I actually picked the Groot colourway. Again, rainbow. You know I like rainbow. Um, and actually, when I was buying it, I did have an idea for a project. I don't know what sort of blanket, but I am going to make a blanket out of this. And I'm going to send it to a really good friend of mine. Bestest, bestest friend. Love him to pieces. And he actually lives miles and miles and miles away from me in Yorkshire. Um... And I was going to do it in the rainbow colours to celebrate pride. And pride is a very important thing in his life. So I've got two of these just to prove. Oh, Again, I'm going to have to colour control the centres, but I don't care. They're beautiful. Absolutely love them. Colourway group. And even though you're probably all super familiar, I will do the specs for you. So it is grouped. It's a lightweight number three, 150 grams or 5.3 ounces, 590 yards or 540 meters, 100% acrylic, um, knitting needles, they say 3.75 mil um, and hook a five millimeter, I believe, and they are made in Turkey, machine washable and dryable. So, yep, I don't know if you've ever seen how it would, I would assume this is if you knit, this would how the colourway would play out. I don't knit, so it will be an adventure to see how it actually crochets. So that is the Lion Brown Mandala group. I finally own some. I'm super happy. I hope you can see how excited I am. I am over the moon. I could literally do a happy dance or uh, maybe cry with tears of joy. But yep, I think these are absolutely lovely, would have no trouble working with these. And I do agree that it is a DK weight. So yep, once again, two of those, super, super happy. And I only have, oh, I forgot the prices, sorry. So for me, this Lion Brown Mandala, they were £7.29 each, which for me, is a little more than I normally pay for my wool, but it's Lion Brand, it's Mandala. It's normally your guys, you know, uh, top brand over there or one of the top brands. Um, and for me, it's not so readily available. So I knew I might have to pay slightly more than you guys probably would. But you know what? I I would pay it. I have paid it and I'm super happy to have paid it. So £7.29 for me, which would mean... That for you in the US, if you ordered from Wool Warehouse, 
it would be $9.84. And I have seen a lot of your videos where you can get it a much cheaper. So maybe stick to your big box stalls and we will pay the extra over here. Um, and in Canada, it would be $12.48. So yeah, maybe a bit pricey, but I don't care. I love it. I'm so super happy. And then the last thing I got, I actually was going through uh, Crystal at Bag of Days patterns and I noticed that she had done a lovely cable pi uh, pillow pattern. Try saying that several times over. Um, and I really want to give the pillow pattern a go because I really love cables. Um, but I don't think I've ever tried to crochet cables. So I thought I'd have a go. And she used a four, a weight four, an Aran. Um, so I thought that I would do it. And obviously I can't use the yarn that she used, so I had to pick an Aran of my own. And I literally just went into Wool Warehouse, clicked the, the weight of wool that I wanted and looked through all the options. But I also wanted, again, um, maybe a brand or a type that I haven't had before. Now, I am super, super stoked with these because they are actually much nicer than I thought they would be. So I went for something fun with a hint of rainbow, of course, but with um, more of a neutral background to the rainbow. So what I decided to go for was Sirdar Snuggly and if I'm being honest with you, it is snuggly. I didn't think it would be this soft when I got it, but I am super, super, super impressed. It is lovely and I cannot wait to get this on my needles and see how the rainbow polka dots work up in the cables. Because again, I didn't want anything too busy to lose the effect of the cable. So I thought maybe just little hints at Sam's favourite rainbow and we'll see how it works up. But I'll just quickly give you the specs on these. So this is Sirdar Snuggly. It's 100 grams. It is an Aran weight or a number four. Um, there are 236 metres or 258 yards per ball. Um, there's a little shiny sticker on here and it says West Yorkshire, British design expertise and craftsmanship trusted by generations of hand knitters established 1880 so looks like good stuff um the hook recommendation is a five millimeter six uk or a us h8 knitting needles uk six five millimeter us eight hundred percent acrylic and this is the shade 0857 called Smarty. I think that's quite a fun name. Um, this is made in Turkey. Wash dark colours separately, cool tumble dry or dry flat, reshape while wet, dry press, never wet press, maybe dry cleaned, machine washable on a wool cycle. And I got Three. Look at all that scrumminess. I am super, super, super happy. So now I've got even more lovely, lovely, loveliness to start getting working on. I just wish I had more hours in the day to do my crochet and to get things so that I can show you that they're actually done and what they look like worked up. But I will do my best. And as soon as I have man, oh my Oh, that feels good. Um, as soon as I have managed to get a project done, um, I, of course, will do a video and show you how they work up. So prices on these. So these were the King Cole. No, 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 no. These were the Sirdar Super Soft Aran Rainbow Drops in the colour Smarty. I paid £4.79 each. They are worth it just for the snuggliness and the rainbow speckles. So £4.79 to me is $6.47 each in US and $8.20 in Canada. Maybe a little bit pricey, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to do the pillow when I get time to do the pillow. And then just one more quick little thing that I picked up, it's not actually in my wall bag and I nearly forgot about it, is 
I have seen a couple of uh, YouTube guys um, look at these. And I remember thinking when I was watching you guys um, using them. Oh, that's handy. That's nifty. If I see one, I'm going to pick one up. And I did. And it is one of the knitting needle and crochet gauge with yarn cutter. And it is shaped like an elephant. So you can check the sizes of your needles up here. And I believe you can um, lay your hooks in them as well to see the thickness. You've obviously got a ruler here. For measuring and I believe on the end here that's where you can do your wraps per inch so if you've lost your ball band you're not convinced that the weight that the ball band says the yarn is um is correct you wrap around for an inch and a certain amount of wraps determines what weight of yarn it is and then under here under his little beautiful face is a yarn cutter so if you don't have your scissors handy you can use this to cut your thread or your yarn so I thought that was super cute, super lovely. It's made by Knit Pro. Um, and Knit Pro's slogan is for those who love to knit. Well, I can't knit, but I love to crochet and I can use it to gauge and measure my bits and pieces as well. So this one for me was £2.79, which is $3.77 for US or $4.77 for Canada. Again, I don't know if that's pricey for you guys, but for me, I would pay £2.79. I did and I will use it. And there was a pink and normally I would go for pink because pink is one of my favourites. But actually, this purple, this lilac actually grabbed me a little bit more than the pink did so I actually went off course with this one as well so I have kept do for over 20 minutes again but just one more last little look and it's more of a cream base to this one rather than white which makes it a little bit warmer and a little bit less harsh so so three of those two of the group mandala two of this which is got to be my favourite, the King Cole Curiosity in Merlin. Oh, can't wait, can't wait. And then the Dream Catcher by Stylecraft in the two different colours. Two of those, two of those. So I've got two of everything apart from the dotty one, which I got three. So I am going to let you go. I hope that you enjoyed 20 minutes of maybe drinking a coffee or a cup of tea with your feet up, listening to me ramble on about some stuff that I just rubbed all over my face and probably weird you out about. But hope you enjoyed it. I was super excited. I literally nearly jumped on the postman when he knocked on, knocked on the door. He knows I get excited when I get my yarn packages. Um, and again, thanks to Mike. He was the one that gave me the voucher for Christmas in order for me to buy this. So super love and hugs to him. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of the day it is when you're watching me. Um, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for those that return back to me every time I load a video. Hi to any newbies that have come in. You're welcome anytime. And if you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up, press the subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload, upload a video. And yes, maybe check out some of the other videos that I've done. I take you for a walk sometimes and there's another couple of bits and pieces in there as well and there is still more to come. So I will see you soon. Have a lovely, lovely day and take care. Love you all. See you again. Bye.